reason why, again, focused on penetrative sex is because we have a lot of people who have really strong values, really strong relational goals, really great ways of communicating with one another. But then when it comes to sex, that kind of goes out the window. You go through an act, but then they, I've noticed a lot of people have this sort of inner tearing inside themselves because they want to bring that into the act of sex, but they've only seen it as something that's either like taking or, you know, being like extremely physical and rough. Normally we think of a guy's cock as only having worth if it's hard, if you can get it up, stay up, keep it up, and then ejaculate when you want to so that you don't feel bad about yourself for not being also a good lover. When I look at a secure attachment, it's not this stagnant, like Zen-like state. It's actually having a dynamism of what could even be seen as some avoidance, some anxious, some, and having a balance in that. And so how do we meet each other moment by moment inside the bedroom, giving the person what it is that they need, what it, stating the things that we want, what we're curious about, and having kind of all of a sudden now this whole rainbow, this whole spectrum of possibilities of expression, of interaction that really will soothe and respond to what our soul needs at that moment.